Hey everyone, we just did a really fun class over on Facebook Live and we are showing how to personalize your place cards or place settings for your holiday dinner table this year. We show you so many things on how to make everything festive from coasters to little yes. ornaments. That, yeah, and ornaments and things that could be on your wine glasses, pumpkin charms. We just went for it. We had ourselves a good time. But remember, this was shot live over on Facebook and we've edited it here for you. And so if you hear us talking to our customers and answering questions and stuff, that was just in the moment. But we had some fun. We got some great ideas. Come on over and check it out. So these are, um, you see the pretty green ribbon or so turquoise ribbon there and we've tied all the names on. On the top right shows you how I did them, all in like production mode. Just taped them all down and broop, went for it. It was pretty fun. I think we have a video of that somewhere, maybe on um, Instagram. And it just looked great. Now this is aluminum and all these women that were at the thing took them home and threw a chain on it and they wear it. I or love threw it. it on their keychain or something like that. Yeah. And then I had a party. Do you remember when we had the beach vacation thank you party at my mom's house? Mm -hmm. And my kids it. were the cocktail waitresses? Yes. It was pretty epic. Mm -hmm. So here's what I made for that party. It's not the best picture, but it's all I had. Um, where each person, these are keychains, so they're, or whatever, but they're on a, a 10 millimeter split ring. This is just basic stuff. So mm -hmm. this is like things you probably already thought of, but I just want to remind you, like this was actually, um, my husband's name is Paul. I made these for his 50th birthday and it was at every, everybody's place. So it wasn't necessarily telling you where to sit, but it was a fun little um, party, party gift. gift. Yeah, yeah, that's cute. Totally. A little bottle opener. So that was fun. Um, now this is just a pendant that I grabbed out of our alt images. I made this simple hook, which if you look closely, it looks very similar to an ear wire. It's very easy to make. In fact, we're going to um, make hooks maybe on the next Be Education Live, maybe the one after that you can use for things like this or to put ornaments on your tree. That's going to be our subject. I love that. But um, this hook, it can put, you can now put it on anything. Like, let's just slide this aside. I'm going to grab this wine glass. Maybe I can go out a little bit. There we go. So with this hook, it can just be real simple. I'm going to have to hold it so it doesn't fall off. On a wine glass, on a water glass, mm -hmm. tucked into the napkin, whatever. You know, it's pretty cute, huh? Oh my gosh, I love it. Just yeah. sitting there. And it could also then double as an ornament, or you could even hang it from exactly. your car so mirror let's, or anything, um, really. You could also, like, here's a long one that I just grabbed. It's pretty nice. This is one of our pewter ones. You know, you can go for a whole different shape. Oops, let me bring it around here. You know. That's so pretty. Cute. I love that. Cute, cute. I do love it. Or you can, I mean, this hook I just made so I can slide anything on there. Mm -hmm. But these are earrings that Mel made um, a couple of Facebook Lives ago. I don't know if you remember these. <laughs> They're I do. fun. Yes. So I stamped a little copper circle. Well, before I zoom in, I'll show you what it looks like on the wine glass. But this really looks cute on a wine glass. It's big. But I love it because it's like now people know where they sit and they have an ornament to take home as well. Exactly. And they can pull the letter off if they want. Now she just, this is just an ear wire. So why yes. not buy ear wires and use them? They're already shaped and they're really strong, very pretty. Um, but this could be, again, tucked into a napkin. It could be on a water glass. On these guys, I want to zoom in so I can show you. So on this one, I just want to point out, you can't really tell on the camera, but I use the silver colored enamel pen. Oh, I love that. Yeah. On the letter, just something different. That's Maybe pretty. You can tell a little bit better. And that's the cowgirl carnival. Yes. Mm -hmm. And a little snow. This is a sample I made a long time ago. Um, it actually was in Beat and Button magazine. And this was before we had the crystal setter. These mm -hmm. are just glued on there, but this is another very simple, straightforward idea. A pendant, a ornament, anything. Tie it on with a ribbon. Um, you could tie it around the base of a wine glass. You could tie it around a napkin, which I've done one of those. I'm going to show you in a little bit. This one, oh, it slid down a little bit. There we go. So this is an actual necklace. Like, wouldn't you love yes. coming to this party? I would. Maybe like book club or something. Yeah. Like for book club, it'd be really cute to do bookmarks, but... Um, so this has someone's name. This is our pewter piece with a little crystal in there. And then on the back, I've just tucked the rest of the chain into a bag and you can just tape it on there to secure it. So this is one that I hadn't stamped anything in the middle. So I just put that copper thing there. I taped it on, truth be told, just to show you. Um, but you could definitely glue it on, 
epoxy. can't really solder on here. Yeah, epoxy it on. As long as it's not very big, this is 24 gauge, so as long as it doesn't like affect the balance of your cup. Now, wine glasses usually have a little bit of a lip. I just wanted to point that out. It's got the little... Um, Scalloped fan. Yeah. I love it. So, so beautiful. So that is, I think that's one of my favorite ideas. I do All right, love so these. place cards, things hooking on a wine glass, um, coasters, and this stuff is something I just was messing around with. I don't have it specifically on a place card or a wine glass, but you can do any of the things we just showed you. And I started with this one, which was like, gosh, I want a big letter. Like, I love initials. I think it's so fun. Mm -hmm. But we, you know, our biggest is seven millimeter. Mm -hmm. So I made one out of little. I, I do love this. Yeah. So I just drew it on with a thick Sharpie because I really wanted to see the width of it and just stamped all over it until it was complete. Um, look at this one, though. That is so cute. I just love this idea. And when Lisa came in yesterday and was like, look what I did, I can't believe we haven't, you hadn't done these before. I know. This one was fun. That's those, awesome. Those shapes of those flowers just were it's so pretty. exactly what this needed. Let me come in a little bit. I actually, when I see you do that too, you guys, how cute would it be if you had a sign, like you did like those one inch or one point, you know, one inch circles, and then you had like a little cake sign or... For like a little shower. Someone here had mentioned they were doing like a wedding uh, bridal shower. Like yeah. that would be really cute. Yeah, these are so cute. So I just put the letter on there, but I think I'd probably do more stuff. You could even put like ISA, you know, in the regular I love like that. an eighth. That in a regular like one eighth. I love oh, that idea. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. really cute. And here I did one on a tree. That's really it's cute. It's a big, too. huge K for Kelly. I love it. And the date on the bottom. Those look great with the trees. Yeah. With the trees mm -hmm. in there. I love that. Yeah, so I tried to go with, like, see the mountains is in there. That's awesome. I tried to go with, like, nature-themed stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and then once I drew this K with the Sharpie and then stamped with all kinds of different stamps on it and then redid Sharpies to make sure it was in all the um, spots and polished it, I found there were some empty spots. Mm -hmm. So I just stamped again to fill in. Now, this is a random thought that I wasn't sure was going to look good, but oh, I, I think it, it does. And I had some Mel and I were like, we've got to use little pumpkins. And like, of course, you could like hang something off the pumpkin, right? Let's go to something small. Huh? You know, like that, tie it on and whatever. But like, I super, super cute. How you so came up with the front. washer. Could you guys, doesn't everybody have little pumpkins and gourds on their table yes. for Thanksgiving? If you so celebrate? this one, I thought, let's do little washers and dap them. Mm -hmm. I use the metal dapping block, not the wooden one, because the wooden one wouldn't give it enough um curve. We've got the little um, succulent there. This is just tied on with ribbon. I love it. You know what that just actually made me think too? You also could have a little succulent at each place and then... Yes, I little... wanted to do that and I ran out of time. It'd be sweet. Yeah, right? and then they could take the succulent home too, right? Mm -hmm. That's Both cute. But I love it as a nap napkin holder. That's mm -hmm. perfect. Everybody's got a napkin. Not everybody has a succulent for everyone. True, true. So the other thing is I have all these bracelets. I'm not like, why not use a bracelet? on your idea. napkin yes right like this is um a sample that i made a little while ago it's just a cuff bracelet like how stoked would you be if you sat down and there was this <laughs> cute awesome. bracelet yes um, this one's a little more simple what about a leather bracelet that's beautiful so cute that's for your vip guest yeah yeah because you really you really went for it on that one how cute would this be at someone's spot and you had something like this? Oh, yeah. Maybe not copper, but and maybe not a washer, maybe just an initial. Yeah. Epoxied right on top and everyone had their own little snow globe. That's cute. With the date. We started this with thinking place cards, like mm -hmm. what can we do here that's mm -hmm. interesting? And then we started thinking outside the box because we can. We're all creative people. Mm -hmm. You know, even but even if you go simple, like boop, hang this. From a wine glass. Easy. Mm -hmm. It's great. Your guests are going to love it. All right, gang. Thanks for stopping by. It's been fun. Now I want to go have a dinner party. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to cook. I just want to we'll make this. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Just eat the food and enjoy that jewelry. There you go. Mm -hmm. We'll just put on wine glasses. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. We'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye, Bye guys.